Hello, today we have some great tips for you for the month of June. This is the early part of the growing season. Things are actively growing and developing, and that includes insects and diseases and weeds. So we encourage you to get out on a regular basis and walk through your garden so you can keep those things under control. At least on a weekly basis, get out and scout for your insects and disease and weed problems. And that way you can control them by using mechanical methods or just hand removal um, before you have to reach for the pesticides, even though that's okay. Uh, sometimes we have to use those. A lot of times we can control the population though um, by using other me methods such as hand pulling and removal, etc. Um, of course, at this time of year, spider mites can become a problem. Cutworms can still be a problem as well as webworms and other insects. And again, those can be easily controlled by either hand removal or mechanical methods as well as insecticides. Weeds can be a problem. Um, Shallow cultivation, just take getting your cultivator out and doing shallow cultivation and then using a nice mulch to help cover the soil and shade out those weed seeds will help reduce the amount of time you spend out in the garden weeding. Now you can see we've got several different types of mulches here. Uh, at least an inch thick, sometimes two or three inches will work really well to help keep those weed seeds down. Now if you've been dealing with pine needle diseases, then this is mid-June is a good time to apply a fungicide to continue to control that problem as well. Now, on your warm season grasses, this is a good time to put down another application of fertilizer at one pound per thousand square feet. If you're establishing a new warm season grass by seed, that should be completed by the end of June. That way the plants have enough time to, uh, to germinate and establish themselves before the cold winter, cold weather comes along in the winter time. For those of you that are maintaining cool season grasses, brown patch is a fungal disease and it can become a real problem during the summer months. One of the things that you can do to help reduce that problem is make sure you water early in the morning so that the foliage has a chance to dry out during the day and it doesn't stay wet any longer than it needs to. Also, open up the area, especially if you're, if you're growing it in shady areas. Uh, air circulation is, is important. When you get into these stagnant, really humid spots, that's when the disease often arises. Now on young trees, you'll get these very vigorous shoots and sometimes they're not, not wanted. They may be growing in towards the center of the tree or, or just off in a weird, weird angle. You can remove those completely or you can shorten them back uh, to help control it. Of course, if you have a young ornamental tree or a new tree in the garden, while it's young and it's early years is a good time to train it. If you have competing limbs that are competing for dominance, if you want to develop a central leader, remove one of those limbs, and allowing the other one to then develop that, that central leader and shape of the tree. Now also with these young plants or young shoots like this, this is a, a good time of year to um, do some, some propagation. So a young, sh these are called softwood cuttings and you can take off a shoot uh, about six inches or so and you want to make the cut actually just below the, uh, the leaf node. So on here we're going we're gonna to make a cut just below that leaf node. We're going to take the leaf off, actually we would probably take a couple of leaves off but this is where the roots are going to develop on the shoot. And so you can then dip that in some rooting hormone, stick that in some potting soil, and hopefully then you'll get some roots. You can then pot it up or plant it in the garden and have a new tree. Now, this is going to be a hot, looks like it's going to be a hot summer. So remember to water regularly in your garden. We recommend at least one inch of water per week to encourage deep root growth. We want, it, we want good deep root soil moisture to encourage that deep root growth. So if you can apply that one inch of water all in one application, great, because that will help encourage that, that deep soil moisture. If you're watering frequently, 10, 15, 20 minutes on a daily basis, more than likely that water is not going very deep in the soil. Your roots are going to develop shallow, or your plants are going to develop shallow roots, and then they might struggle later on.